President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali has emphasized the pivotal role of dynamic leadership in promoting harmonious coexistence within a culturally diverse society. He made the statement while addressing the opening of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, Center for South Asian Religious Annual Leadership Development Conference at Regency Hotel on Monday. Guyana is made up of six ethnicities with distinct languages and cultures, and therefore, the president said leadership within the church must be provided. Leading in this sphere requires balance in the complex world. If you believe that this is the world in which you can preach the gospel and say this is the gospel or preach your religious text and this is it and that is the end of it, we are wrong. That is not leadership. That is not leadership. That might be reading the scripture, but that is not leadership. So, the first principle I think we have to address is balance. What constitutes balance? And what is the balance that we can bring? President Ali stressed the importance of multiculturalism and its impact on leadership in diverse environments. To this end, he urged the Sabbath observers to boldly address the issue during the conference, emphasizing that the complexity of these matters should not discourage them from engaging in open debates, conducting analyses, and creating comprehensive plans for effective leadership. In this complex world environment, the leadership of the church, not the church, I'm separating the two, has to be adaptable and flexible. However, the leadership, though adaptable and flexible, must be shaped by the values, principles, and foundational beliefs on which your leadership stand. Now this is a second aspect of the complexity because your leadership in the church and the religious community stand on something. It is not leadership by Maslow theory or any one theory. It's leadership that stands on a foundation because you are not leading a restaurant. You're leading a church that is your organization that is birthed out of a religious context. Furthermore, the head of state encouraged the pastors and elders to examine the role of culture and the arts in shaping the minds of young people in the upcoming generation. He also lauded the Seventh-day Adventist Church for its adaptable approach to promoting leadership and guidance in a multicultural society.